Yo, what's happening? Hello everybody, welcome back to Game Tag VR. My name's GT. I'm not a chair, I'm actually here, you see. I was uh I was sorting a couple of things out. How you all doing? Thank you for joining. Today we are checking out uh Scrapper First Strike Episode 1. Hello, Stephen. You are Brutal Smurf, Taz Nick, Daniel Brothers. Good day to you, GT. I thought the wizard for PlayStation VR already came out. No, the wizard is available on PlayStation VR, dude. Um, without a doubt. I've played it. I've even used the rudder. How's it going, Taz Nick? What's up, everyone? So, uh, yeah, this game comes out tomorrow. Uh, I think I've put it in the description. The price is uh, $20. So... Oh man, so yeah, they will be coming back in stock. Uh, do you know what? You might, talking about the which quest to get, the 64 gig is the one that's really hard to find. <laughs> yeah, it's fine mate, yeah. The chest is feeling good. Uh, the 128 was in stock though today near me. So, um, this is my first impressions. I haven't played this before. I just loaded in a second ago and then I thought, do you know what? I'm just going to start right from, this is where I got to basically. Um, yeah, we'll just uh, go initiate mission. What did he think about it? I say Isaac Asimov. Thanks to Labradex Studios for providing this key today. Ah, <laughs> sweet. Oh, okay. Really? That's interesting. I, would, I wouldn't have said that, but... Maybe, I mean, yeah, in some ways, I guess uh, there's a lot of similar games. I mean, Quest has its own kind of exclusives. Yeah, I haven't got long today. I haven't got long of... Um, 
Nice. Yeah, I haven't got long tonight. I've got about an hour or so. Good evening. How are we? What? The colour seems a bit washed out. What's going on? Stay sharp, everyone. We're entering humic controlled airspace. Let's hope this stolen humic drops. Oh, it might be bright and up. It looks very, like, greyish. After all the planning, can you believe the day is finally here to take back new office? This game is already available on PC VR. Uh, it might be in the same cell, I'm not sure. Well, they're preparing your pod right now. Now, don't go calling it a hunk of junk. It may not be first class, but <laughs> it'll get the job done. Absolutely. Ah, it's so quiet up here. You never know the city's under human control. Deactivating ILS. Skypad 03 visible. We're almost there, buddy. The show's about to start. All right, diagnostic time. Check your wrist interface. Just raise your wrist and press the function button. Oh, nice. Use that any time to check your pod status. You can use it to access all kinds of things. Reports, inventory, status, tactical readouts. You know, wrist, just like wrist, uh, except without the so W. It's really, um... Clever, huh? Really bright. I'm not not bright. I don't know how to explain it. Like the blacks are, are not right. I don't know. Roger that control. Final approach. Romeo Bravo three. See so how we get on. I might restart it. I don't know. Looks weird to me. But that ship looks black enough. Maintain up. current heading. I don't know. What's going on? Buckle up, everyone. Thirty seconds to touchdown. Oh, okay. Prepare for landing. Skypad zero three. Graphics is okay. Yeah, yeah, washed out. Yeah. As soon as we land, jump in your It does look like that in up. here as well. That's what I was looking at the screen, but obviously that can only see what I'm seeing. Right, let's have a look. Stay safe, and remember, the HRF is with you. Always. The HRF. Yo, how's it going? Thank you for joining. I hope you're really well. Oh, that's better. That's a bit better. I wonder if there's options for this. Uh, do you want to turn the brightness down or something? Nah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy. Easy. Hello. Any options? This doesn't look too bad now. I mean, I can always... What's it look like now in the head... In, in there? That doesn't look too bad, does it? I can change that. I can actually make it look better for you guys than it does for me. Um, one second. Because it actually does look pretty similar, but let me... Let me have a... Let me quickly change the, uh, the video configuration here. Quickly. So, that, that's kind of what it looks like to me, but we'll do that. So I'm using the, uh, like the codec thing to change this. Hello, is it going? Turn the colours up a bit. There we go. Is that a bit better? That's cool. It's a little, it's still... Any day now, Maxwell. It's not like uh. the Humics are taking over the city or anything. Oh, Smiley, that's fantastic. You are marvellous? There you go. That looks a bit better. Right, cool. Calibrate your pod. So, yeah, it looked really washed out in the ship, but this doesn't look as washed, it doesn't look as washed out, so... Press to activate. On your right controller, press the X. Yeah. Okay. I want smooth turning. I want smooth turning, please. Where's smooth turning? Is there smooth turning? Anywhere? Help. I don't. I don't know. Maybe maybe we go let's go through the mission. Right, come on. Yep. Uh what the hell is this? Oh interior colour. That's pretty cool. I'd go for a interior brightness. Bot speed. Rot speed, max speed, don't know. Right, how do we turn this thing on man? Yeah, I'm pressing it. Look. Oh! But it's already on. 
There you go. How you doing, mate? I was too lazy to walk over. Chatting? Chatting? You're not chatting? Right hey, here. Maxwell! Whoa. Can you hear me in that thing? Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. Thanks. That, that's <laughs> the best right. I can give you, mate. Welcome to New Austin, there, there, Maxwell. There you go. Good to have you back. I can't believe we were able to hijack this dropship from the Humix. So, did they show an in-flight movie? Let me guess. Real steel. Listen, I'd love to chat. But I need legs. to get this dropship unloaded and then set the weapons testing area up below. Meryl's setting up the rest of this command post on the other side of the platform. Head over to her and she'll run a quick check on that pod systems. You go <laughs> right. ahead and make sure you're <laughs> nice winky give me properly. There. That bad boy's gonna show you where Meryl is set up. All right, I want to pull this. Okay, I'll see you back here later. Yeah, dude. What's this do? This thing looks the most interesting. These buttons. Okay, whatever. Out my way. Out my way, you pretend, Master Chief. Whoa! What was that? Alrighty, eh? Weird, what? I feel like I'm in a wheelchair more than I do feel like I'm in a, a weapon. But sort of thing, you know? Let's see what happens. Greetings, Lieutenant Maxwell. What was that I game? You're as ready for action on as you PlayStation look. VR on Your the... modified hover pod looks to be in good shape. Oh, it was a hover pod. Let's oh, run a quick diagnostic a scan, pod. just in case. What was the one, um... What was the experience... In places VR worlds. Looks like everything is fully operational. We're using the thing that walks. Lieutenant, it's imperative. You that remain aware cool. of your pod's power core meter, That's the pod's hull, and your pod's munitions inventory. Right. You'll need to I use maintenance listen. pads to recharge and restock regularly. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, the pod's capabilities will be diminished. Okay. One more thing, Maxwell. Yeah. The building is full of computer terminals that need decryption keys to access them. I've placed several keys in your pod's inventory That's to get it. you started. I would suggest accessing these terminals as often as you can. Depending on the terminal's network security, you might be able to download valuable engineering schematics or information about the flaws in building no itself. Understood? We've made some modifications to your pod, so I would highly suggest you visit the training area. Just follow the ramps down to the deck below. Right. No worries, y'all. <laughs> right. Does the green button do anything? What's this button do? Why can't I grab any of this stuff? Look at this. This handle. This handle demand. Demand. Scavenger hunt was amazing. Can we get in here? No. Uh, ah, is he double tap and you get a boost? Radio. Oh, maybe I should go down. Oh, nice. How do I go down? Pew. Does anyone know if there's smooth turning? Ah, uh, I didn't... Dude, I don't have time to read any any books anymore. I used to read a few books. Connect in. What's that mean? Oh. Uh, yeah, we'll do the training program, please. Now we might get smooth turning. Welcome to the HRF Tactical Training Program. I'm Drill Instructor Wade, your virtual advisor. Oh, thank you. Look alive, soldier. <laughs> Send, yeah. Hello, Billy. How is everyone? You alright? What, what, what's it want me to do? Get out of the way. Uh, listen, Meryl. Yes. Indeed. Right. This program will pitch you against a variety of opponents. Right. Any one of which may soon be presenting an actual threat to you in real world combat. Let's proceed. <laughs> <laughs> Boy. Oh, that's quite cool. First up, the militia bots. Let's see how well you can shoot. Try to shoot. Not bad. Now let's see how you deal with some hostiles face to face. Biological and eliminate on site. How do I I was saying, my arm does feel you long can't enough to fight all the time. To Remember to repair that shield of yours. Right. Griffin pulled the SUV. 
on oh, the move button. Oh, okay. Let's change it up. Let's see you use right. your tactical skills. Press the EMP button. Lieutenant, oh. remember those buttons. Soon you'll be able to install new abilities into your bomb. What's this one, Dave? Now use your ultimate to finish those bots off. Nice. Humanoid presence detected. How's it Patrol going? Control perimeter region. Come on, do it. Oh. Come on. There you go. Have it, lads. Wallet. Pull up your weapon wheel and give that old boomstick a shot. Right. Hold left triangle. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Oh, I'm moving longer than that. Uh, right, what's... It? Press the T button to equip. Boomstick, wouldn't it? Yep. I've no idea. Oh, you got to twist it. Okay. The more weapons you build, the more ways you can take out those pathetic Umex. Radio. Now let's put it all together. Yeah, man, I didn't read it. How do I, um... How many of these Yeah, he's trying to make you feel well like Well done, you. Lieutenant. Oh, look, look Remember, that. the HRF is with you. Always. Lieutenant, Commander Winston is asking for you. Meet him by the elevator. <laughs> you know, I'm probably making it look confusing. I, this is a live... This is a, like a, a first impressions thing, you know? I don't know. Uh, Right, here we go. It makes it harder when you're um, when you're live streaming as well, because obviously I've got the chat going on. I'm trying to, I don't want to make you lot feel like I'm ignoring you. So that's always a bit of a thing on my mind. Right, you know. Got any smooth turning for me? Or you're going to get this? Oh. Hello. At ease, Lieutenant. But don't get too comfortable. We have a tough job ahead of us. Whoa! We are standing on one of three reactor buildings that provide power to the mega city of New Austin. Boy, Brown, don't... Cypher and his Humex soldiers have shut down this reactor and are taking measures Sir, to make sure we can't get it running reality. again. Our mission is to infiltrate the building, undo any damage done by the Humex, and bring this reactor back online. Yes. In order to power up the Come reactor, up we will need you to turn on vital systems, make repairs, and reboot critical functions. Do you understand what we need you to do, Maxwell? <laughs> uh, what's that? Sorry? Yes. You'll be using the high-velocity elevator behind me to navigate the reactor building. Absolutely. We've managed to pry open the doors of the elevator. Okay. We've also placed an access key in your pod's inventory that will allow you to travel to floor 76. Handy. Once there, you will need to reactivate the building's master elevator transport controls. Pardon, Commander, but once the master elevator Sorrento's transport in my, controls are Sorrento, back I think, is in my top ten on PSVR now. Need access keys to amazing. Entry to high security levels. These keys can be found on a security drone's patrolling I loved floor. it. I absolutely loved find it. Find and destroy the security drone on a floor, and you'll find the access key for the next. One last thing, Maxwell. Your pod has the ability to inhibit all enemy scanners, so your presence will be largely unknown. However, if you are sighted, then there's no oh, doubt incredible. you will be attacked. Stay alert. Right. Are you clear on how vital this mission is <laughs> to our success, Lieutenant? Now, head yes. to the elevator and your proceed realm. to the next task. Right here. Let's not waste any time. Okay, Maxwell. Am I right? To proceed to floor 76, you'll need to dock with the high velocity elevator terminal. Enter the elevator now and locate right. that terminal. Good luck, soldier. Alright, what do you say, Maxwell? Think you oi, can oi. find the orange switch down there? Right, uh. Right. Yeah, go there. Go there. Yeah. Nice. <sighs> mm. 
I'm waiting for the game to... to... Huckleberry, how's it going? I'm waiting for the game to excite me. I'm waiting for something to happen. I'm sure it will in a minute. Because graphically, it's okay. It's not amazing. It's okay. There's nothing, nothing wrong, you know? It's not bad. There is a washed out look to it, which I can't really get. Which I've actually taken away on the stream. It looks a, it looks a lot better on the social screen than it does in here. Yeah, let me out then, dude. What the hell? Yeah, I'm, 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 uh, how's that move? Climby? I've played The Climb. I haven't played Climby. I don't know what that is. Right. What's going on, dude? Hmm. Anyone know what's going on? Waiting for this door. Is there another door? Right. Dude, I don't know what is going on. A lift. I'll take your word for it, man. Radio. Does anyone? Is there anyone else play this film? Oh, I'm PC or anything because. Oh, nice, man. We can check out the rudder again tomorrow. If, if I want to play it tomorrow. Okay. No idea what's going on. To be honest. Just... Hello! Is that my... Is this... I wish I had... Um... Let's have my max speed up. Speak sign? Where? Where's that? Hello everyone, thank you for joining. Yeah, how do we how do we get to the inventory? What is it on there? Oh, okay. I had to talk to her to get this to work. Pod purification right. engaged. All right, there we go. Pod purification. Where's my? Where's my gun gone? Use decryption to hack this machine. Your pod will scan for danger. Terminate the human. I don't terminate the human, dude. I'm a good person. Why don't I terminate the human, dude? Can't we all just get along? Right, what's in the box? Stuff. Yeah, we'll connect to that. Scan that. Looks like you found the schematics to an SRU, a shield restoration unit. Download it so we can build shield restoration units for you at the command post. No worries. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining. 
Yeah, no worries. Right, let's go. I imagine this is a lot better with the rudder, actually. I don't, I'm not liking this movement scheme, to be honest. Stuff. Okay, no worries. What, we're terminating stuff? Yeah, I don't know whether the DS4 will give me smooth movement because if it does, I'd rather have, I'd rather play it with the, with the Dual Shock in a way. But I, I want to play with the moves because I like to touch things, you know. I like to, um, I like to interact. Tenet, my sensors indicate the biological agents are starting to dissipate. Keep going. Like I thought to myself, yeah, that handle. In another mech game I play, you pull it and it's the eject. I was hoping it'd eject me <laughs> or something. Right, let's go. Oh my goodness, why? Why, why, why? Patrol, yeah, man, the quest is amazing. I love it. It's my favourite thing to like show people when they come out at the moment. My uncle, um, he doesn't really use his PlayStation VR just because I think he just doesn't like the setup thing and he's, he's, he's got like... Yeah, it's been quite, I mean, I'm happy to swap the controller method. But I want the moves to work. Like, I want... Oh, I want to enjoy them. Because um, that's how I play this game. Like, personally. And they're not rubbish, man. Right? The moves are really good. So, yeah, my uncle, like, he's got a bit of an issue with space and the camera on the PSVR. Like, it doesn't always work out very well for him. He suffers from bad tracking. Just the Jesus Everything's sort of in a corner. Um, did I die? Uh, okay. And yeah, so um, to, like he come round. Ah, oh, nice. He, he gets up. He come round and he tried the uh, the quest man. Yeah, and he bloody sold his PlayStation to be hard today. But to be fair, it's like brand new. He he honestly hardly ever used it, which is a shame. But because I bought, I got him to buy Star Trek as well because I absolutely love that game. Absolutely. Press to activate. Oh crap. Press what to activate? Yeah. What's going on? <laughs> I don't get it. I want to. This game's not winning me over at the moment, but I really want to like it. Um, yeah, still slide up and down. Pressing all the buttons. I've pressed all the buttons, in fact. Come on, man. What's going on? What's this, what's this blank screen? Of, what is that? Can I move? Oh, Ready Player One is a, is a great, um, it's a great film. I love it. Does anyone know what I'm doing? Dude, you got jump in the Discord. If hey Hobbit, if you're looking for people to play, jump in the Discord, man. Because uh, I, I really want to. Um, I really want to play Star Trek. I was actually going to play Star Trek tonight. They told me this code was coming, and I was like, oh man, what should I do? I might. I'd... 
Ah! Right, okay. Have I got to press this bloody button again? <gasps> Did ya? Elite Battle Angel. I love that. Technical tooltip. Okay. What what is actually happening? Grip the panel with your right hand to reposition it. Okay. Sweet as a blueberry muffin. Well, you can still change the colours, which is nice. I'm gonna go for a. There we go. For us, even though the, the hand gets in the way of the tracking, I don't care. Right. There we go. There's my pod. Bring that a bit closer because you get some jaggies further away. Yeah. Uh, excellent. Thank you. Press to activate. Press what to activate? Oh, nice, dude. <laughs> oh, what is happening? What is happening? Can anyone tell me what I'm doing wrong? I must play, I don't know, 400 VR games, and I've never really had a problem with starting again. Press to activate. Press what? I can't see anything. It's dark. Okay, let's hold something. Uh, no, go away now. I don't want to look at my bloody objectives anymore. I can't even turn it off. Because I can't see my own hands touch the circle thing. <sighs> Thank you for joining. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It does use the aim. What's happened? What's that? Is this a work? Uh, it's really good. Um, what the hell is going on? I think the game's crashed. Right, let's... Uh, oh, I wouldn't agree with a great stream, but thank you very much for being here. Um, right, let's try the aim controller. I've no idea what happened there. It just went completely dark then. I don't know if the game crashed, but didn't quite crash. Right, let's go. Let's start again. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Game Tech VR. My name's GT, and today we are checking out Scrapper First Strike Episode 1. So let's see what happens. Hello, how's it going? Let me say hello to the chat. You guys are cool. God, so many... Hello, Nick. Brutal Smurf. Yeah, it has given me a little bit of an headache. Gaming legend. Tuckleberry. Billy Windsor, the VR realm. Andrew Lloyd. Mark Dilks. Boy Brown. Stephen. Dave Station. There he is. Oh, he's the one telling me about the uh, moving and stuff. Hello, Hunter. How's it going? Oh, right, okay, cool. Nice, dude. Yeah, I got the rudder, man. I, just didn't, I, didn't, I wanted to try it without, because obviously not a lot of people have the rudder. So I like to try and play some games uh, in a way that some people will have them. Um, which would be, I'd hope in to be the moves. And then... Uh, right, load game. If it loads into that black screen, dude, I will not be happy. There you go, that's the latest one. Right. Oh, by the way, when this game loads up, it, you get a black screen for about 30 odd seconds. That's completely normal. Um, I actually thought the game, something was wrong with the game. It's just a, a very long, nothing happens once you start it. It might be longer than 30 seconds, I don't know. I mean, I, I was thinking of quitting out, but uh, don't. Just stick with it, be, it would be fine.
Oh, right, cool. Here we go. Um. <laughs> I don't think so. What's that? Acquiring data. There we go. That's weird. The other, the other gun doesn't quite. There you go. Nice. Sensors show a terminal nearby. Right, here we go. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of the click turner now, hopefully. Settings. Oh, no. Oh, no. Whoa, what happened there? Turn that off. Snap rotation off. Why can't you? Why can't we have these? Um. Why can't you have these options with the uh, with the moves? See if you can access the Use the to hack this machine. Your pod will scan. Biological the entity confirmed. That is a thick robot. If you wouldn't have actually told me it was there, it would have actually shot a few hits on me. Right. Oh look. Yeah, there we go. Right, touch that. Scan that. Looks like he found the schematics to an SRU, a nice. shield restoration unit. Download it so we can build shield restoration units for you at the command post. Right, let's uh. What's wrong with this? Okay, so just showing you the turning, um. <laughs> <laughs> it sort of intermittently works. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what, what that is all about. Uh, let me have a look at the options again. This isn't going well for me. Why is it not going well for me? Snap rotation is off. Which is what we want. Unless you put that to free. No. So it's definitely off. Oh, hold on. What happens if you have snap rotation on but you, tur you don't turn? Surely you can't just turn... <laughs> That's stupid. Right, you just not, you know, zero degrees. You cannot turn. Right, okay. Uh, turn that up a bit. I don't know. Right, here we go. Right, why is it stopping? What? I don't understand. I just want to spin. It won't let me spin, dude. No, it does it and it does is going on. Right, okay, whatever. Whatever. Let's scan this thing. Yeah, EMP it. Oh god, what is happening with this? I can't even move forward a lot. Right, here we go. Right, here we go. Yeah. Scan it, please. Quite the valuable plan you've acquired. Our HRS vendor should have these in stock moving forward. Maxwell, a door should have opened nearby. Start looking around. Terminate. Right, let's scan this guy. No, we're not scanning him today. Yeah, I have, have, uh, have, have this thing. Does that not work? Why can't I use my super stuff? How do we, how do we use this? What? Control. How did that? What? My health's low. Oh, great. That didn't help. So let's, uh, can I grab, can I grab that now? No. Oh, okay. So instead of pulling the thing, you just press the thing. Right. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm not sure. It's a I haven't really found a, one that works yet, a so um. AKA the equalizer. Oh, no surprise. If this carries on, I might go with the dual shot. It might, it might work really well with the dual shot, you know. Your ordnance profile, but we'll need some raw material, packs, and most importantly, a grenade mech dat. So, if you see a grenade mech, ask nice if you can have its dat, okay? Okay. Ah, jokes aside, if we can assemble the launcher, our chances of getting the reactor running again will be all the better. Nice. Yeah, someone told me that, man. They were right. I forgot, basically, because I'm so used to forward fate. What is happening with these joysticks today? Uh, yeah, someone told me that, like, uh, when I was playing the quest, I was still... Humanoid presence. Oh, 
of a trophy. What is going on with this movement? Oh god, this, this is actually winding me up. I'm pressing forward on the aim and it's not, it doesn't like it. Alright, okay. What is it saying? If I push it too far forward, it stops. Look, so I'm just pushing forward. I don't get it. I don't get why would it want me to does it want me to keep pushing forward? Oh. Right. Oh dude, please don't please stop stopping. Up the ramp. There we go. Here we go. That was good. That's it. Hey. We're off. Nice. Don't stop. Don't stop. Oi, 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 how's it going? Thank you for joining. I hope you're doing really well. Hope you're having a lovely day. We're doing stuff. Yeah. Oh. I didn't cut her off. She just stopped talking. Let's scan this thing. Oh, creepy. Why can't I? It's not my aim control to do, because I use it on uh, firewall all the time. Oh, there's nothing wrong with it. Hello, how's it going? Thank you for joining. Uh, it doesn't matter how much I push it. <laughs> I love watching YouTube on the Quest. I think it's lovely. That massive screen, the resolutions really high, so YouTube actually works really well. Yeah, I'm using my super thing. No way. Oh, dude. Alright, ultimate. Melee. One and two weapon wheel. Nah, I'm not sure the aim controller works on this game. It does. Let me go with the dual shock. See how we get on with that. Where is it? Where is my dual shock? There it is. Let me turn some stuff off, man. Let me uh, turn this off. I don't think that feels right. Uh, I'd say the moves are definitely better than that. Um, let's turn these off because I've also just got a bloody charger up again right here we go uh, no no um, no it was fine it worked it, it should have worked fine it's definitely how it plays because it felt like an it felt arcadey if you know what I'm saying like it felt that's how I imagine it, it wouldn't have worked would it it wouldn't you press forward it goes forward it wouldn't it would just go forward. It wouldn't just stop going forward. If you know what I mean? Um, but we'll see. I'm sure. I'm sure it's just. Well, I've used the moves. Um, found them a little bit frustrating. Uh, I haven't tried the rudder yet. And I won't be trying the rudder tonight. I've heard that is uh, the best option. Someone said it's really good. So. Yeah, we'll be. Uh, Nice. There should be a terminal right in front of you. Yeah, so this this is working uh hold on, why can't I shoot downwards? What what? Wait. Sensor. Right, hold on, maybe you need to turn head aiming on or something. What? No. I, I was. Um uh, I didn't particularly get on with What is happening? What is happening? Why am I having a nightmare? <laughs> right, dude. Let me quit right back out to the main menu because 
I don't know what his thinking's going on. Uh, I've disconnected the moves. You saw that. I've turned off. They're all turned off. Uh, I tried... The moves... I, I, I want to use the moves because I want that immersion. I want to grab handles and press buttons and stuff because I love all that. I love mech games as well. Uh, so I'm sort, I was sort of hoping this would be that. Uh, this would be that, you know. Boom. Nice. There we go. There, 3D rudders down there. Right, that's it. Cool. That's selected. We are sorted. We are ready to go. Yes, please. Sweet. Yeah, whatever the game someone said earlier, like the alien game with you on the in the machine with all the legs, that's the one that I was thinking this would be like. Because uh, that that's that's a very good game. It's quite long. I mean, it wasn't really a demo, um, but I was hoping that they'd do more with it. Not that I can remember the name of it again. Oh wow! Um... Oh, that's better. There we go. Head aiming would work with this really well. It'd be like um, it'd be like rigs. Uh, so like if you jump in the Discord, I'll, I'll definitely answer any of those questions. Um, there's quite a few games that I recommend. That's the problem. You know, like PCVR, I'd recommend uh, Lone Echo. Um. What else would I recommend? Robo Recall. Uh, I don't know. I'd need to go through my list. There's quite a few. On the quest, I've done a top five. Um, right, okay. We've done this again and again and again. Right, that's that. That's that. Triangle for the super. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, that's melee. Okay, you tap L1 and R1, that's melee. Oh, don't know what the green thing did. Yeah, I would normally answer that question, man, but I'm trying to figure out this game at the moment. And, uh... So I want to give it a fair shot, you know? And at the moment, it wasn't really winning me over, and uh, I want to make sure it's there's a reason, you know. A door should have opened nearby. Start looking around. Biological energy Humanoid presence detected. Oh, 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 I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Shield. I don't know. Right. It's a TL-40 NAHD schematic. Yeah. A grenade launcher, aka the equalizer. Well, no surprise Cypher wanted to keep these plans out of our hands. Constructing that launcher would really expand your audience profile, but we'll need some raw materials, packs, and most importantly, a grenade mech dad. So, if you see a grenade mech, ask nice if you can have a dad, okay? Ah, jokes aside, if we can assemble the launcher, our chances of getting the reactor running again is all the best. Excellent. Can you not jump in this game? I was hoping you could like jump. I like it when you jump in this game. Okay, got this. Oh, 
Oh, mate. Whoa, 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 what happened there? Scan, we've got to do eight of these scans. Open the door, please. Nice, thank you. Oh, that is one of these pods. Nice, dude. Now's your opportunity to get that mech that you need. Maintenance pot detected. There we go. Ah, look, we can upgrade stuff. Nice. Right, uh. Let's do the lot. Purchase. Yeah, we just uh, purchase these things. Not sure. Oh uh, no! Oh, cool. It feels okay. What are these things for? Shield restoration unit, right? Cool. Biological entity. It's weird, it's quite strange, right? How can I put this graphically? It looks brown. There's a lot of browns going on. I think it makes it look a little bit dull and it, sh it shouldn't look dull. Because um, it looks incredibly sharp on there. It's not that sharp in here, trust me. It looks okay, though. Not, not, I'm not saying it's bad, I'm just saying. Oh, I hate that guy. You sign. Don't get me wrong, I love what he does, but dude, he was on my TV all the time. Right, here we go. Have some Mega Blast, dude. Oh, great. <laughs> Where are you going? Punk. Nicely, my hover chair. Boom. Close the bay door. Oh, go on. <laughs> oh. Crap. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, it's not exciting me. Um, it's not bad. Like, it's not... The control skills are a pain in the ass, is it? I don't think he's doing anything wrong, I just don't think he's doing anything that exciting at the moment, but maybe, I don't know, I don't know, maybe it's just my, my, my type of game. Not sure, not sure. We'll crack on for a little while. It should be my type of game, that's the thing, like, I love, like, Forsaken, Descent, I love games like, that, you know, like, Feel like you're in a mech, got all these levers to pull, but I could not get on with the move controllers. They, it just didn't feel right.
Those, uh, did anyone, those robots, are they, did anyone else, um, is it iRobot with Will Smith? They sort of look like that, but beefier. Turn the elevator on. Well done, Maxwell. However, reclaiming the main elevator controls is only the beginning. Why do the messages keep cutting off early? I'm not pressing nothing, it just, they just stop something. Right, how do I, um... Oh no! Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, you gotta... You don't say that, man. It will. <laughs> I will fall asleep. Not every game's for everyone, you know? I, I, I want to like this. It should, it should be... It should be right up my street. We had a guy at work who uh, tried to say that. He said, by the road. I'm sure the saying isn't... No worries. I'm... Uh, so I think you're looking around 17 pounds, 16 pounds, something like that. I definitely prefer it now we're um, moving around a bit quicker. Do you know the game I'd love to, um... Oh, uh, what was that one by Fire Sprite? I'd love to play that all over again. That oh, was amazing. Nice work, buddy. Hey, one more valve and we'll be breathing easier. Nice. Right. What about the valves? Have been this way? It does, unfortunately, because it's the least immersive, really. I didn't buy Ace Combat again because I, f I went to go uptown and buy it again because Mrs. GT's played it. I don't know if you want to, if any of you seen that video, but she doesn't really play many VR games, but she play she wanted to play Ace Combat. I was like, why do you want to? No, I was thinking, what is this clip a clickbait video? <laughs> but no, she just really wanted to play it, and she did. And uh, she's quite scared of water, and I can't remember if I left that bit in the video um, because when. When it starts, it starts on a uh, like a, a Harrier thing or an aircraft carrier, sorry. And um, yeah, no, she's done really well, and she played it. She really liked it. But I went into game uh, in the UK, and it was eighty pounds. And I put that on my Twitter, dude. I was like, what the hell? And added game. I was like, how's that right? How is that right? Right, let's follow this. Unlucky my son. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she she doesn't like going under she doesn't like going underwater in real life, not the VR just in real life. Oh here we go. Yes. Uh I need health, please. Equipment, yep. Yo, has it got... Yes. Yeah, it does. It's not head aiming uh, at the moment. I, I... Let me just have a quick... Yeah, it's that way. Let me have a look and see if I can do head tracking. Because I think that would work really well with us. Guys, and how's it going? Tell me hard controls. Oh, maybe not. That's a shame, but I, uh, it's fine. It's fine. Hold oh, man, hold weapon wheel. Ability one or two, item one or two. Ah, okay. How do I... Oh, you still got to press them. Okay. I need some health. I 
Oh, nice. I'll be going to work shortly. Uh, so there's a target still on that machine. Oh, this should give me my health back. Maintenance pod. Repair pod. Go, son. He's one of my heavies on my Discord. If you want to get to me, you got to go through him. Yeah. I don't... What am I doing at this bit? I shouldn't be in that menu yet. No. That's a lift. Nice. Oh man, like on hard. Duff. They were tough. I think I got like three kills or something like that in a whole match against the hard bots. Uh, how do we get up there then? Is there a computer around here to activate? happening yeah he says he's all oh, right here we go what's this maybe this is absolutely lift <laughs> they are man they are really hot yo what up oh really let me uh let me catch up with the chat here Gaming Legends, thank you for joining, how you doing? Nice guys, thank you for watching, thank you for commenting, I really appreciate it. I'm trying. Work is needed, indeed. How do we get this lift to work? Yeah, no worries. Take care. I might not be here when you get back, though, unfortunately. Um, but I will be on tomorrow. Thank you for all your likes and comments as well with the Wizards interview earlier, man. Like the Carbon Studios. It's only a short one. But um, Jacob was up for a chat. And I was like, yeah, man. So this chat. Ah, elevator. Here we go. Yes. Hold on. Hack it, yeah, hack it. Hack the elevator. Absolutely, man. Yeah, I just saw it on, uh, it's on Steam, as you said, it's like 13, it's like 13 quid, 15 quid. That game is fantastic. I absolutely love it. I really do. I think it's fast paced. Um, I love the uh, one shot kills. I love the maps they've put on it. Like, it's an absolutely brilliant game and I really hope people do pick it up. Um, because that would be... I hope he doesn't die, you know? I hope he's got cross-platform. I don't know, dude. Uh, to me, he's got a lot, of, a lot of good stuff going for it. Like, I play... Oh. It's got a lot of good stuff going for it. Right, okay. I couldn't have picked my... I thought it was going to let me pick my floor, but... You can only go to the two places it wants you to go. 
So I'm going to be back in this bit you're looking at now, trying to get up the elevator again, I'm assuming. Let's go that way. The elevator won't work. Yeah, for sure. It's an awesome game. And I'm okay at it. Which is good. Unlike this one. I'm not good at this game at all. It doesn't like me. I'm running around in circles now. Oh, no, I don't. No, 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 go, um... Try, try online, dude, honestly. Don't be scared to go online. Use <laughs> uh, the EMP. Special box? Nope. Oh, thought I was getting somewhere then. That looks like it should blow up. A lot of stuff looks like it should get damaged or move. Like, none of it does, it just stays still. Right. Yeah, that, I, I thought we shot that. I thought I shot that. Oh, let's see if we can shut it again. Yeah. So, there we go. Yeah, my office dude. Cool. Uh, I'm not achieving anything though. I want to get out of the room. Hello. Oh, what with the VR link, Fez? Is that what you mean? If so, dude, yeah, the internet just went, unfortunately. But thank you for, uh, some come back, some didn't. I understand that. Yeah, the broadband just went. Oh, 
goodness me. Yeah, shells. We're going to run out of time in a minute, and I don't think I've tried all three control methods, not really enjoyed any of them that to a great deal. I really want to. I, I would actually say the dual shot for me at the moment is the best way of playing. It's not really cool in VR. Like, I know Resident Evil it works great and stuff, but. I was hoping, because of all these consoles and stuff, you know, you get to pull these levers. And, uh, yeah, man. Yeah, boys, I'll join you. I love it. I love. I love space junkies. I think. It's, I think he's one of. The, I think he's probably the best competitive multiplayer. Shooter uh, on PlayStation VR at the moment. Ah, what's this? Is this, is this a place? Elevator? No. Oh, it's a seven out of eight. Oh, I'm so close. I can't get the elevator to work. What's the time? I'm gonna run out of time. I've been on this like an hour already, and I've been done anything. I don't think I've done anything. I've only seen like three enemy variants. I haven't showed the game at all. It's been stuck. I mean, how do they. Went, if this was like a place, how did they get it down? Anyway, what was the catch? He worked here in the factory. All oh, right, go and put that stuff up the lift, Dave. All right, no worries, man. Oh, sweet. What are you planning on doing? Is that what you're talking about, doing space junkies? Oh, dude. Maybe I'm missing something. I don't know, man. What's going on? Yeah. Use the engineering table in the rear room to build the equalizer. In the rear room. How do you work out what? I've got a map. Nah. Uh. The map? Where's the map? map? How do you work out what the rear room is if there's no map? There must be a map. There must be a map. Right. Is it called rear room? I don't know what to say at the moment. Maybe my incompetence is not helping this game. It is, it is in my, I can't, I'm not getting on with this game, uh, personally. It's okay. I'm not sure, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. At the moment, I haven't really cared enough to care what I'm doing. I was just hoping it would uh, win me over as I play. If you know what I'm saying? That's what I was hoping. You know some games do that, don't they? You play it and you think, oh, that's right. Like a demo or something, and then you think, actually, this is really good. Kind of waiting for that to happen. Waiting for the moment. So we've got to build the thing. Okay. Uh, build. Materials needed. I haven't got any of that stuff. 
cookies over there. <laughs> right. Well, I didn't really get anywhere with this. Um, unfortunately, I'm. I feel like I've let you down a little bit. Uh, but yeah, no worries. Thank you ever so much for watching. Take a few likes. Take a few comments. And uh, that is. Scrapper first strike episode one. Uh, I will be back in a couple of days, probably have another go once I figure out exactly what is going on because uh, yeah, I didn't really get it. So, but yeah, and if we do, uh, everyone kept great apart from the rudder. Uh, I tried the moves, the dual shock, and the aim control, and my favourite was actually the um, the dual shock. So, but yeah, dude. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll be back tomorrow playing something. Uh, uh, Milton. I don't know. He's not really done anything for me, to be honest. Oh, Stephen. Yeah, sorry, guys. It's not... Oh, guys, then, I don't feel it has been a good stream because I feel... I... Uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't want to say I don't like it because I'm, it hasn't it hasn't done anything wrong. It just hasn't really done anything right at the moment. Um, but yeah, I will try it again. Maybe off stream. I don't know. Maybe maybe something's not clicking. If it is supposed to be good, uh, I know it's got some information about it. it. Was written by someone famous, the story behind it or something. But yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, watch it, see what you think. Um, there. Ah, oh, cheers, man. I oh, know, yeah, but it's better if we do enjoy the game, obviously. Um, yeah, I didn't really get much out of this. Uh, on a personal note, um, didn't really find it that interesting. Uh, control schemes, apart from the dual shot, none of them really felt that natural. Um, I'm sure actually this game will work with a 3D rudder really well. So uh, that's one of the that's one of the things. So we will try it again in a little while. Um, but yeah, no worries, guys. Oh, cheers, guys. Thank you. That really means a lot. Sorry, but as I said, sorry about all that. But um, yeah, enjoy yourselves. I've got to be off to work, but I'll be back tomorrow. Um, I might do a daytime stream tomorrow. Uh, actually, looking at stuff. So take care of yourselves, fellas. Look after yourselves, and um, stay safe. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.